getting into the program itself, this is the screen that opens up when AutoCAD 2015 opens now. It gives you a new tab. It'll go through the recent documents that you've been inside. The first recent document that I have here is a model document, and none of these are the actual file that I want to start with. What I actually want to start with is what everybody else would start with, which is if you go to File, New, and when you go to File, New, what it's doing is going through a predetermined space for where your template files are going to be. No matter if you have templates that are set up or you're using the files that AutoCAD has set up for you, you're using a file that has something embedded in it already. And these are what are called template files and they're designated with a DWT at the end of it. The template file location is at the end of here. You'll see it's in your user administrator, app data, all the way here to template. And you can change that. So if you were to create your own templates, you would want to either add them here or more likely if you're a firm you'd have this on a network drive somewhere and you would pull off your template files from that file. Getting into what AutoCAD gives you here, there's two templates that you really need to be aware of. So there's the ACAD one here that's just simply ACAD and there's one down here is called ACAD ISO. The difference between these files is very simply the ACAD is set up so that everything is going to be in inches or an imperial scale and the ACAD ISO template is everything set up for a metric scale. I'll get into that a little bit right now. Um, so I'm going to be doing everything today in the ACAD DWT because it's going to be in imperial and in inches. So I'm going to open up this file. It gives me a drawing. All right, so I have this template. There's different files. There's there's two main things that will graphically make your file different between a metric file and an imperial file. And those two things deal with the support folder with patterns and line types. So just like the template, one was called ACAD and the other one was called ACAD ISO. If you go to this support folder, which is in this location, you'll see that there's an ACAD PAT file and an ACAD LIN file here. So these two files are what's associated with the, the ACAD template. And then anything that's ACAD ISO, the menu or the measurement is going to be 1 or going to here. So just to give you a visual so you can connect what the difference is, all these files are are different coding to say, all right, I'm going to lift up the pen at a certain distance and put the pen down a certain distance. So it's basically a scale thing. So this one is all set up for inches. So you can see that it will go half an inch and then it'll be down for a quarter of an inch and half an inch up. If you were to convert that and you were using millimeters, it would be much smaller because inches are bigger than millimeters. So they had to create a separate file for that. And that's what they did for the ACAD ISO line and you'll see that these are much bigger now to make the adjustment for the size of the line. So in the end, when you print it out, it will be the same size, but since the units that you're drawing in aren't the same, that's why they have to create separate files. And you'll see that's the same as well for the pattern files. Hopefully that gives you some understanding of what's going on with these different line and pattern files. So just to make sure that it's set up right, I'm going to type in units, and units is going to open up a dialog window here. If this is an architectural file for using inches, typically architects like to use the architectural style, and they want to use inches and an angle. I like to use a little more precise of an angle than just no decimal places, so I usually use two, and then the inches is set up correctly, and I'll just hit OK. 